Hello traders, FS Pepcoletti here. Today is Friday, April 5th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Aussie dollar, I still think we're looking at a big WXY pattern, which I still believe is going to end up continuing up, probably eventually taking out these highs, most likely end up looking something like that. This is the monthly time frame, so obviously it's going to take a very long time for that to play out. Going down to the weekly time frame, I still think this right here is a wave one of C, wave two of C. Whether or not the wave two is over is still a little bit questionable. It kind of looks like it is. If it really is, then it should be a big old uptrend for wave three, a wave four, and a wave five of C, which is part of an A, a B, and a C of wave Y, like I was showing on the monthly time frame. Taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, it really looks like this correction is already over. It looks like a downtrend A, looks like three waves up. B, looks like a downtrend C, looks like a nice break of starts It seems to me like the wave two is already over. Now, we do have non-farm payroll coming out today. That should be a pretty good determining factor whether or not, whether or not this really is over. It looks like it's over, and if it really is over, then it should continue the uptrend, making those wave three of wave three, most likely, or wave three of C. So going down to the 4 hour time frame, 4 hour time frame is where we got our Fibonacci retracement on here. We do have that non-farm payroll news coming out today, which I actually feel like may actually cause a sort, and maybe that sort would actually likely be a wave C. Uh, but it also could be a 1, 2, 3, and it also could just keep on going down, even though to me it seems more like it should be a wave C, and then maybe next week at some point we'll get a nice long opportunity for the continuation of the uptrend. So taking it right down to the one hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last push down. Kind of seems to me like we're setting ourselves up for a long or a short opportunity at the news, at the non-farm payroll news. If this looks anything like this at the news, up at a Fibonacci level, then I would say it's a very, very likely that this is going to go down at the news, probably for a wave C. But I would always label something like this as either an A or a 1, I would label it as either a B or a 2, and I would label it as a 3 or a C. And we definitely should be able to tell the difference between a wave 3 and a wave C, especially if you learn how to read the markets. If it is a wave C, then next week it will end up continuing the uptrend. If it's really a wave 3, then it might just keep on going down. Either way, we should better recognize it and trade accordingly. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel link down here in the corner, and don't forget to check out my membership program at my website, fxpicoletta.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.